हेलो एवरीवन आई एम शिवानी एंड वेलकम टू सिविल सीरीज दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो बिकॉज द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो आर रिलेटेड टू मोस्ट अवेटेड एग्जाम विच इज बी एम सी सो हियर दिस वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू बी एम सी प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन सो डेट्स डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इट इज द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ वन और मोर कोर्स ऑफ ब्रिक्स फ्रॉम द फेस ऑफ वॉल दीज आर द ऑप्शन इन दिज ऑप्शन फर्स्ट इज कोपिंग coping is the topmost part of any building component and coping is used to uh, seepage of water to prevent the seepage of water and then next to coping there is cornice cornice is formed by ornamental cores in the junction of wall and ceiling then immediately below the cornice there is frieze frieze is formed by stone and uh, along with the external face of wall then next to frieze is corbel and corbel is the extension of one or more cores of a brick from the face of wall and corbel is also used to support the roof truss beam and weather sheds so option for this first question is corbel so this is the appropriate figure related to component of building to address every part of building and here in this uh, figure there is corbel cornice frieze and coping so observe this figure and remember the names related to the figure because sometime they ask the fill in the blanks in this figure so you need to remember this figure with the name and part of building components then question number second the compressive strength of ordinary portland cement proportion is 1s to 3 that cement mortar cube after 7 days test should not be less than okay so here they ask a compressive strength after 7 days and that should not be less than okay so compressive strength after 7 days should not be less than 17.50 newton per mm square and in case of 3 days means the cement mortar cube after 3 days test should not be less than 11.50 so remember this also after 3 days the strength will be or the strength should not be less than 11.50 newton per mm square and after 7 days the compressive strength should not be less than 17.5 newton per mm square so option number b is correct then third attrition test on stone is performed and this test is performed to determine the rate of wear of stone due to grinding action under traffic and that attrition test indicates the resisting power of stones against the grinding action under the traffic okay so it's easy to remember that attrition test is related to wear of stone okay so here the option number fourth or last option is correct then next question is which of the following is igneous rock these are the options igneous rock is the rock formed by solidification of molten mass there are three type of rocks first is igneous rock second is sedimentary rock and third is metamorphic rock igneous rock is formed by solidification of molten mass sedimentary rock is formed by deposition and metamorphic rock is formed by pressure and heat okay so here they ask the example related to igneous rock so these are the some examples related to igneous rock in that first is basalt then pumice then obsidian then rhyolite then scoria then diacite then granite gabbro and diabase diorite pegmatite and peridotite okay so these are the few examples related to igneous rock in that the option number first is correct granite is the igneous rock then option number b or option b is marble which is metamorphic rock and sandstone and limestone is a sedimentary rock then next question is related to mixed proportion and this exam this question is from bmc 2019 exam mixed proportion questions are mostly asked in uh, these 
year exam so you remember the chart related to mixed proportions and so you easily get the marks related to the mixed proportions so here they asked the m25 mixed proportion so this is the chart related to the mixed proportion and that first uh, so it is easy to remember just remember that the column first that m5 m7.5 and after that there is a difference of 5 okay m5 then m7.5 and then m10 15 20 25 30 35 40 okay in case of ratios start with 5 then 4 3 2 1.5 1, 1 0 0.75 0 0.5 and 0 0.25 just double the number 5 10 4 8 3 6 2 4 1 0 0.5 3 1 2 0 0.75 1 0.5 0 0.5 1 and 0 0.25 0 0.5 okay so this is the mixed proportion and uh, for the m25 the value of mixed proportion is 1 is to 1 is to 2 so option number 4 d is correct then same question related to mixed proportion for m15 so for m15 the ratio is 1 s to 2 s to 4 then next question when bending moment diagram changes its sign that point is called as in case of bending moment that point is point of contra flexure so option number a is correct and if the shear force diagram changes its sign then that point is point of contra shear okay point of contra shear in case of shear force and point of contra flexure in case of bending moment when they change its sign from positive to negative or from negative to positive the next question relation between equivalent length and actual length when one end is fixed and another end is another end is hinged okay so for this equivalent length there is a chart and there are four conditions related to the supports so here uh, first condition is both ends are hinged so le is equals to l when both end are hinged then both ends are fixed then le means effective length is equals to l by 2 when one end is fixed and another end is hinged so this is the question that le is equals to l by root 2 so here le is the effective length and capital l is the actual length relation between le and l is l equals to 1 by root 2 so here option number a is correct and remaining uh, condition is one end is fixed and another one is free then effective length is equals to twice of actual length then next question is which of the formula is correct so the formula for partial or factor of safety the formula for factor of safety is yield stress divided by working stress option b is correct next question is the value of partial safety factor for steel the partial safety factor for steel is 1.15 1.15 option b is correct if they ask partial safety factor for concrete then the answer is 1.5 and the partial safety factor is that value which indicates the strength uh, related to concrete and steel as we compare the strength of concrete and steel steel is steel has a more strength than concrete so for steel there is a less partial safety factor and for concrete there is more partial safety factor the next is which of the following is the limiting compressive strain value of concrete in limit state method so the value is 0.0035 option b is correct then next if the quadrantal bearing system of line is south 30 west then what is the whole circle bearing okay so there are two types first is whole circle bearing and second is reduced bearing in case of whole circle bearing the angles are measured from north pole and in case of reduced bearing the angles are measured from north and south pole okay north and south pole then 
whole circle bearing the angles are 360 degree and in case of reduced bearing the angles are 90 degree okay major angle is from 90 degree and this kind of pattern is related to reduced bearing so here they give a reduced bearing reduced bearing is also called as a quadrantal bearing okay this is the axis and here they give the 30 degree angle so this is north south east and west okay so here the angle is south west 30 degree so this is 30 degree and for whole circle bearing we need to add the value from north pole so from north pole to south pole the value is 180 degree so 180 plus 30 is 210 so whole circle bearing is 210 degree option b is correct then 13 in tachometer one is multiplying constant and other one is additive constant option a is correct then next question an imaginary line or a line on a map joining a points on the earth's surface at which the magnetic declination is same is called okay so magnetic declination is the angle between true bearing and magnetic bearing and the second concept is deep deep is the angle of horizontal surface and magnetic needle okay so if the magnetic declination is same then that line is isogonic line and if the magnetic declination is zero then that line is the agonic line okay same concept is related to the deep if that deep is zero then the line is a clinic line and if that deep is same then that line is isoclinic line and that tie line and base line in option number c and d are uh, related to the chaining that the uh, baseline tie line are used to check the surface area option number b is correct then 15 the foundation whose depth is considerably greater than its width is called as is called as deep foundation option d is correct then 16 ideal transition curve is ideal transition curve is clothoid option a is correct then option then question 17 recommended slump of concrete for a road construction is that road construction slump is 20 to 40 mm then what is the range of cobalt scale for drinking water that range is 10 to 20 ppm 10 to 20 ppm is the cobalt scale for drinking water then next question converting domestic sewage into small packets of 6 inch length and 1 inch diameter is called domestic sewage into small packets of 6 inch length and 1 inch diameter is called as the palletization then next the maximum permissible chlorine content for public supplies should be between that should be between 0.1 to 0.2 ppm parts per million for the permissible chlorine content next question is 50 ppm means which hardness okay so these are the option and for the hardness there is one chart this is the chart in that uh, first column is re related to the range of hardness and second is related to the kind of water okay for 0 to 55 mg per liter there is a soft water then for 56 to 100 slightly hard water then 101 to 200 moderately hard water then next 201 to 300 there is very hard water okay so again repeat again 0 to 55 soft water 56 to 100 slightly hard 101 to 200 moderately hard and 201 to 300 very hard this is very important chart remember this okay so the answer is soft option a is correct then next if the span of bridge is 27 meter then bridge is termed as okay so there are 
three type of range or three kind of range. First is up to the six meter span called as culvert. Then next the span is up to 60 meter. Then the bridge is minor bridge. Then 60 to 120 meter the bridge is major bridge. So option number A is correct minor bridge. Then last question is which of the following is not a part of bridge superstructure. Okay. So these are the option superstructure means the part which is above the ground and pier is the part which is below the ground. So the option A is correct here. This is the substructure part. So option A is correct and this these are the few questions uh, I got from the BMC exam. So practice these questions and start preparing for BMC exam and all the best.